Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, July 11th, 2018. Well, we have a cold front that is exiting the coast, and as a result, we have northerly winds throughout much of the region, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Right along the immediate coast, we do have some cloud cover as that cold front is pushing off. But for the most part, dry conditions are taking hold throughout the region. We did have an isolated thunderstorm move through southwestern Connecticut, or should I say southeastern Connecticut and eastern Long Island earlier this morning at around 4 a.m., but it didn't produce much in the way of any type of significant impacts on the region. Just a brief heavy downpour, that is about it. Dry air is working into the region, but with the cold front pushing off the coast, we have sinking air, and that's going to allow our temperatures to rise very nicely into the upper 70s to lower 80s on Long Island, lower to mid 80s along the coast, and upper 80s to possibly a few 90 degree temperatures popping up in the Delaware River Valley. So around Philadelphia, it might actually hit 90 degrees once again, which technically I think would make it an official heat wave. So we'll have to watch that very carefully. On the surface map, cold front is pushing off. Here is Hurricane Chris, 105 miles per hour, but it is heading out into the Atlantic with no direct impacts on the region. Watch out for that rip current, though, as it will be pretty strong, and also the waves are going to be enhanced, so definitely some rough surf out there, so there's a chance some beaches may be closed due to those factors. Other than that, this cold front will kick it out out of the region, much like a soccer ball, you know, for World Cup. High pressure will be in control for the rest of the week with sky cloud cover expected and temperatures pretty much where they should be for this time of year in the lower to mid 60s for lows and mid 80s for highs. So overall not that bad of a weather pattern to end the week. On the radar pretty much high and dry here again here's that isolated thunderstorm that moved through over portions of southeastern Connecticut early this morning. It is now off the coast and gone. And on the visible satellite picture on the edge here, here you can see Hurricane Chris heading out in the Atlantic. Here's our cold front getting ready to kick it out into the Atlantic. And here's the clear skies that are taking shape throughout the region as that cold front is pushing off the coast. So basically improving weather conditions as we move forward. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, sky cloud cover is expected with temperatures rising into the upper 70s to lower 80s over Long Island, lower to mid 80s along the rest of the coast, and upper 80s to lower 90s in the Delaware River Valley and in your urban areas. I think Philadelphia has the best shot of hitting that 90 degree temperature for today. For tonight, look for sky cloud cover. Could be a little bit of an isolated shower moving through with a weak short wave passing to the south. Not really expecting much in the way of precipitation, though. Uh, again, isolated shower, maybe around Cape May, Atlantic City, maybe just south end of Long Island. But other than that, sky cloud cover is expected, but lows in the mid-60s. For tomorrow afternoon, high pressure and control, lower humidity, sky cloud cover, high temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to lower 80s along the immediate coast and Long Island, lower to mid-80s everywhere else. Absolutely beautiful out there. On Friday, high pressure and control once again with sky cloud cover expected. Look for temperatures to range from the lower to mid 60s for lows and lower to mid 80s for highs. On Saturday, high pressure will be in control, but a few weak disturbances will be passing through, leading to the threat for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Look for temperatures in the mid 60s for lows and mid to upper 80s for highs. On Sunday, again, an isolated thunderstorm is possible in the afternoon and evening hours, but for the most part, look for sky cloud cover. Could be some locally dense fog in the morning, though, that we'll have to keep an eye on. Lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the mid to upper 80s. Could be a few lower 90s mixed into portions of the Delaware River Valley right around Philadelphia as well. We'll have to keep an eye on that. On Monday, Another weak trough will move through with a threat for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Otherwise, sky cloud cover is expected, but more humid. Look for the threat for some locally dense fog in the morning. Low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. High temperatures in the lower to mid 80s along the immediate coast. Upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else. On Tuesday, a weak trough will move through with a threat for some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Notice the increased potential in the thunderstorms with this trough. Far more humid as well, lows in the lower to mid 70s, highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s throughout much of the region, mid 80s right along the coast, 
And on Wednesday, this cold front moves through with scattered showers and thunderstorms look for lows in the lower to mid 70s, highs in the lower to mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else. It's going to be a hot and humid day on Tuesday and Wednesday, so that heat index is probably going to push into the mid 90s. So I have to keep an eye on that. But then once this cold front moves through, we fall back once again into our range of mid to upper 60s for lows and mid to upper 80s for highs. So pretty much what you would expect for this time of year. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NY and JPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.